So think for yourself. I was listening to something came up on YouTube on my news feed, and I wish I could quote the guy. Um, if you're interested, I can go back through my history to find out who he was. But I liked what he was saying. I mean, it's nothing new to me, but it was it was about health and um, you know how we're lied to. And that's why I want to share this uh, message with you. Think for yourself, because we we are we're lied to. Uh, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's so flipping obvious that um, you know if you if. But it's I think for many people it's scary to to look at because I think that it brings up a lot of fear for people, and um, it's in a, in a way easier to choose to believe that we are that they have our best interests at heart. So. Um, one thing he said, which I thought was funny and very true, is if an alien came to planet Earth and landed in the US, an alien from another planet, and said to somebody, take me to your leader, <laughs> would you be excited to take the alien to your beloved leader? I mean, you know, that was, he was elected, right? Anyway, I'm not here to talk politics, but that's just one example. You know, if you look at from the top down and who really is in charge here, and who's wanting to influence the leaders, right? He was saying also about, and I don't know if this is still true, I mean, it's so insane, that for diabetics, uh, type 2 diabetics, they were, that apparently, is this still true, that the American diet, they recommend a glass of orange juice, which shoots your blood sugar up, and oatmeal. Now, get curious, why would they recommend that? Why would they recommend who profits from um, a nation of a, a nation, a world of sick people, and t and people believing that and drinking flipping orange juice and I mean, there's nothing wrong with I I, I love oatmeal. I have it myself um, with with yogurt and protein powder in the morning because protein is super important. But um, you, if you're di type two diabetes, you want to do everything to not shoot your um, blood sugars up and um, it's like taking responsibility. Think for yourself and take responsibility to to discover and to learn what is the real truth and not blindly follow what is publicly shared that the masses, that some people who have an interest in wealth want the masses to believe, right? This is not a conspiracy theory. Let me repeat it. It's like, you know, taking responsibility to, and, and you can ask me, I can guide you. I'm, I'm not a, any, a health coach, but I do get great results from my clients on the health front. I'm passionate about it because we want to live well. We want to wake up feeling good. And here's another one. It's like, don't, don't buy into, um, oh, because I, okay, I'm menopause. I'm 52. Um, I don't, I refuse to buy into, oh yeah, you know, it's like, it gets really hard at menopause. Now, some people listening to this might say, yeah, but Neve, it's easy for you to say, because you obviously don't have the same level of symptoms. Um, you know, don't assume that, don't assume that, that I don't have the same level of symptoms, but it's what I do with my mind to, um, to choose. I'm not available for that. I'm not available for that, um, victim story. Yes, our beautiful bodies go through changes as we age, as we get the gift of aging, and then it's again taken responsibility. Okay, well, I don't seem to recover as well. I don't seem to, you know, um, I get tired e easier. Um, you know, some people will say they, they gain weight easier. I don't buy into that either. Apparently, actually, I read one study that that doesn't happen until after the age of 60. But people say, no, but it was much easier for me before. <laughs> anyway, whether it's true or not, the power of your mind is incredible, which they don't want us to know as well. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, it's indisputable. Join my Meditation for Transformation Facebook group. I have um, about 35 testimonials in there. And actually, you don't even have to join. Just go on YouTube, search on Dispenza Testimonial. And the amount of stories. I just watched one this morning of a lady, stage three um, brain cancer. Um, and goes down the Dr. Joe route, which is meditation plus the power of the mind to change your uh, thinking behavior and your actual behaviors, but m starting with your thinking. And they heal themselves. So it's the power of belief. It's so powerful. Um, and they don't want us to know that. They, I say they as if I sound like a conspiracy theorist again, but there are certain people who do not want us to know the power that we have because they want to keep us dependent on the system um, and they don't care.
So you've got to recognize that. You've got to realize that. And you've got to take responsibility yourself, learn, invest, and decide that you're no longer going to be a fool. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. It's foolish to blindly follow and blindly accept. Um, oh, I'm getting older, so, you know, I'm... You know, it's all downhill from here. No, it's not. Decide that it's all uphill. Decide that you have the power inside of you to choose that. Your life can change in an instant once you decide and you take responsibility. And I know it's not easy. Trust me. Trust me deeply on that one. You gotta fight for yourself, though. You gotta fight hard because it. There's always gonna be discomfort in life, but you get to choose your discomfort. The discomfort of the lazy life where you feel crap about yourself and know that you could be doing much better, or the the discomfort of getting up early in the morning and um, you know, doing the things and maybe refusing some social engagements, refusing some um Netflix indulging, so that you can take care of yourself and making that your number one priority. The biggest gift for me is waking up feeling good in the morning. And there's a certain thing that I do before going to sleep to um, set that intention, right? And I thank God every morning for that, you know? I don't always wake up feeling good. Um, and I know, I, you know, I know what, what causes that to happen or not to happen, right? Again, it's taking responsibility and deciding that you're going to um, have agency over your life. And instead of buying into the bullshit that we're fed, the mainstream bullshit, that you are taking responsibility, um, turning your life around, and you really can make it phenomenal if you decide, if you decide. But you've got to decide. You've got to invest in yourself. Invest time, invest money. You can do it without investing money for sure if you really have that strong, strong um, decision. But you'll get there faster if you invest. So the, the, this message is about reminding you that thinking for yourself how important that is. It also requires courage because you might have to let go of some things that, um, that for now have been a good coping mechanism. And that's not always easy the level of discomfort that you're willing to endure um that's that's going to be the the decisive factor in how fast you will transform but once you gain momentum and it starts to feel good you're like okay this feels good <laughs> doesn't it sasha yeah <laughs> She likes featuring in my live streams. <laughs> no, she couldn't care. <sighs> okay, so I hope this serves you. Um, Think and Grow Rich, my program, I've got my first training today. I'm excited to share it at 12 noon. Um, you can still join us. You will have a mindset makeover. It's not just for um, wealth. It's very much about health and relationships as well. It's a way of thinking. Actually, money is not mentioned a lot in the book. It's all about your mindset and... Um, a way of behaving. So I would highly recommend you join. It is peanuts for what you'll get in return if you invest your, your time and energy in it. It's $497 for a 12 week program at the group program level. You can also join for a year. If you join my fired up coach, that is just $197 a month or $1,770 for the year. And you get a lot more. You get a group coaching call on that and lots of other training and content, including my 30 days to 5k uh, business program plus coaching. I'm going to be talking a lot more about coaching soon. Um, the art of coaching, the skills, you know, learning the skills of coaching. Uh, that's Fired Up Coach. Or you can join the Fired Up Coaching Academy where you become like a high level coach. Hope this serves you. Message me if you've got any questions or if you want to um, not join a group program but work with me privately. Uh, obviously, that works too. And that's what a lot of people prefer um, to do. So if that's possible for you, I'd be delighted to have a chat with you. Have a great day. And remember, think for yourself. You're the one creating your future reality. So create a great one. It's in your hands.